Oh god, I was so nervous. I uh, you you want a little story or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> At uh, my first fight in UFC, I uh, was fighting Carol Parisian. So I was you know fighting in the prelims, and they put us in a lock a, a little locker room, maybe the size uh, half half of the mat. And back then I, I was with three guys. And when we got into the room, the room was very narrow, it was long but very narrow. So we didn't have enough enough space to work out, so I decided to take all the chair, throw it out of the room. And still it was very tiny to work out, so I, w I was not working out, I was like waiting for me for the time to, to get ready. And out of a sudden, like a, like a, a no I heard a noise in the hallway, like a third world war just break out. And guess who's got into the room? It was, um, what is his name, the, the big guy that fought Frank Mir? It was uh, Wes Sim. Oh, Wes Sim. It was Wes Sim, <laughs> Kevin Randleman, Mark Coleman, the two of my idol that I saw fighting uh, before. Um, Goldberg, uh, Wes Sim father, who's actually taller than Wes Sim, <laughs> and Rico Rodriguez. So we didn't have enough space. <laughs> So with plus with those giants, I was like, oh my god, I couldn't speak English at the time. I was very intimidated. It was my first time in UFC, you know. And this guy goes, uh, Mark Coleman, get in, get in, get in, in the room. He goes like, who are you? I'm like, hi, I'm Charles Sapia. And he goes like, who are you going up against? I'm like, uh, Carol Parisian. And he go look at me like this. Mm. He's like, you a wrestler? He's like, yeah, I wrestle. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm rooting for you. And then, 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 then they all, the pandemonium broke, broke, broke out in the locker room. Rah! They got so agitated. I was like, oh my God. I was scared, you know? So funny when time come for me to get, to warm up, you know? I remember this guy was screaming at me. I was young, you know, I didn't understand what they say, but it was a lot of uh, F word that I cannot say because I'm in the middle of them. It was like, you, you got F, and I, and I couldn't speak English. I was like, they tried to motivate me. So, but they were scaring me instead. <laughs> so I didn't have enough room to, to, to warm up because the room was so tiny. So I couldn't move. They were like more agitated than me. And I'm, I was the one that was fighting. So they were going back and forth and hitting the walls. And I was like, my God, that's crazy. So I had to go in the bathroom, do some jumping jack. <laughs> and then Bert Watson explode in the room, like, ready to roll. <laughs> and, and then, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I, 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 I step up and I fought. That, that was my first experience in UFC. <laughs> have, was, you seen, uh, have you seen Mark Coleman since then? Yeah, I did. I did see him a couple oh, times. He's, he's an nice incredible guy. guy. He's, a, he's a very nice guy. Um, it, it's just funny. You see one of your idols on TV and you don't know what you know what all they are, but then you see him in real life. It's like it's uh, it's funny. You know, it was. Uh, it was a great, uh, great experience, you know, they, they, they pumped me up after I looked back at this and it's a funny story to tell and I had a, I had a great time.